Leap is a first-person shooter developed by Blue Isle Studio that went into early access on June 1st. This is a studio that I have not heard of before, but they have released some other games on Steam starting all the way back in 2013 with Slender The Arrival that seemed to actually have a pretty good reception, along with some other games here that also had pretty good reception, like Valley, and then they had Citadel Forge with Fire that came out in 2019 that did have mixed reviews. All of these games though did have a price tag, just like Leap, which is currently being sold for $29. $9.99. Now the game does have a fair amount of content. It has a PvE horde mode that you can play with up to four people and then a PvP mode that it classifies as the competitive mode that has six game modes. Control, Assault, Capture the Core, Team Annihilation, Stomping Grounds, and Asset Assassination. Now currently the player base in this game isn't that great and I only got to try out a few different modes where I played Stomping Grounds which is a mode where you fight for control of two points and then after those points are captured two more points spawn on the map and it kind of does this until one team ends up winning the game. The other game mode that I played was Control, and this is really similar to Domination from Call of Duty, which I'm sure you would all be aware of. In Leap, you can play one of four classes. There's the Pathfinder class, the Titan class, the Wraith class, and the Tech Ops class. I won't go into all the nitty gritty details on all the classes, but basically they all kind of have their own little niche. Now, all of these classes do have a little bit of customizability though. As you level them up from playing, you can change between a few different weapons or some different abilities, and so you can mess around with them a little bit and kind of fit it to your liking. For example, you know the Pathfinder class has a regular full auto assault rifle, but it also has a burst fire assault rifle that has a bit more range. Now one thing that's kind of weird for this game is that their Twitter bio says that you can join epic 40 player battles in a fast paced high reward FPS. And I'm a little confused by this because from what I can tell all the games that it puts you in are 10v10 and that's if you actually get a full lobby that doesn't always happen. So in a lot of cases you end up on these ginormous maps and it's not even a 10v10 lobby, which can make the games kind of slow. However, at least in my case, where all the game modes I played were kind of zone based, everyone congregates around those zones anyways. So I wasn't really having too much difficulty getting into gunfights. Now the gunplay, in my opinion, in this game does leave a lot to be desired. It just doesn't feel that great. It seems like sometimes your shots will really connect and you can absolutely melt someone. And then sometimes it just seems like the exact opposite of that. And on top of that, sometimes when I get into gunfights, I just got terrible frame hitching, which feels absolutely absolutely terrible in a first person shooter, but when the game is running decently and you aren't getting that frame hitching during gunfights, it doesn't feel terrible, but it's not something I would classify as amazing. Now the movement though on the other hand is pretty fun and it does depend a little bit on the class. For example, like the Pathfinder class has a double jump, the Titan class has a jetpack. However, all of these classes have a grapple hook which has no cooldown, which you can really use to juke around and reposition during a gunfight. Each class also has a thrust ability that has two charges on a fairly low cooldown, which again, you can use these in the middle of a gunfight, which again allows you to have some cool outplay potential. Every class also has their vehicle that you can spawn in, which is absolutely necessary since the maps in this game are ginormous, and you can use these to traverse the map or escape if you're in a sticky situation, and you can kind of use them too to engage in fights where you can like jump off them and start shooting people, and overall it's not too bad. One other big annoyance that I had with the game is that the vehicle sensitivity is tied directly to your gun sensitivity, so if if you play on a lower sensitivity in general, your vehicle sensitivity is also going to be really low and there's no way to change that, which is super annoying. Outside of the actual gameplay, the game has a challenge system, which rewards these points that you can buy things from the black market, which seems to be skins and other things like that. There's also a decent stats page and a leaderboard that you can check out. And yeah, that's basically the gist of Leap from what I gathered in my first impressions. I've only put in about three or four hours so far, but overall, I think it's an okay game. The problem for me comes from the price tag. If this is a free to play game, I would recommend checking it out. However, at $30 or even on sale currently where it's 15% off, I can't recommend this, especially with the performance of the game, which really takes away from, you know, the fun of a first person shooter if you're getting that frame hitching during gunfights. I think with this price tag, this game is really going to struggle to hold players. It just went into access on June 1st and it already isn't doing amazing on player base, which you can already feel in those multiplayer matches where you aren't getting getting full lobbies. Now I will admit I haven't followed Leap kind of intently, so maybe they plan on going free to play when the game releases and the price tag for early access is for the people who are a bit more interested. I'm not 100% sure on that, but if they don't plan on going free to play, I do think this game is going to really struggle to find a player base. Even at that though, while the game isn't bad, I don't know if it does anything necessarily unique enough or crazy enough to pull you away from other first person shooters you might be playing. I've had some decent fun though with my time in the game 
And so with my first impressions kind of out of the way, why don't we jump into some gameplay? The fuck is that? What is that on my screen? Holy shit. All right, it's okay. We got this. Oh, that guy just got melted. Wait, is this a weapon drop? <gasps> oh my gosh. No, no, no. Don't take it. No. I just got jacked. Oh my god, what just what is happening on my screen? Hold on, there's a way to throw. Okay, here we go. That's what we needed. Easy. There's a lot of people here. Oh, look at that beautiful aim. It's all the years of Halo. Alright, I wanna call him my alt. Did I get him? Oh yeah, I got him, alright. Why are there so many people here now? I feel like I couldn't find people for like a year and now there's like 30 here. I need help. Ah! Damn it. The movement in this game is both cool and really jank. Somehow at the same time. Which I feel like is kind of an accomplishment. Oh, ow, 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 ow. All right, here we go. Get a little shield action. Oh. Oh, that guy's dead. Easy. I don't think hip fire is very accurate in this. That guy just peace out or is he staying? Oh. God, I got baited. All right, we're going to try and beat this guy. Oh, we killed someone with a shotgun. That's a rare moment. Oh, you can shoot out of this. It is legit a bubble shield. That's pretty pog. I did not realize that. There we go. All right, never mind. Just, I don't even know what just happened to me. All right, once I figured out that this thing has no uh, cooldown, the movement in this game got a lot better. I will admit. Dude, I just want this thing to do damage. Oh my God, there's just a fucking turret right there. Ah! Oh my God, did you see how little that did? It took three point blank shotgun shots. All right. Oh, it's like an LMG that does not ADS. Okay. And what else do we got? Ooh, and a rocket launcher. All right. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's nifty. It's like some doom fist ass shit. Look at this. Oh, the plays. The plays. Oh my god, this guy's getting melted. I got dumpstered. This guy definitely seems like more of a more of a close range character. All right, is Wraith like some long range shit? Okay, so let me before we were oh yeah that is some long range shit for sure what else do we have knives oh okay okay i don't know if i can even hit these I'm trying to think you can't what does this do oh it's some wraith ass shit all right i guess it literally was called wraith so Oh, you can like fucking do a little jumpy jump when you're in this mode. Hey, double kill. Let's go. Here we go. 
And I accidentally used all of it, damn it. Uh, oh god, I think we're taking a lot of damage. <laughs> I've never actually picked one of these up, so we're gonna give this a shot. Right, how does this work? You mean sorta? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Dude, this thing is no- what the fuck? I died, but uh... <laughs> that was actually pretty disgusting. Oh! Can't make me leave. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. And that, guys, is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this game. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all the good places. And I'll see you all next time.